Hello, hello, guys. This is Ken from the Rug Detective Show. Ken from the Rug Detective Show. Hope this reaches you well. Um, I know it's quite late at Central European time, but I needed to get this information out to you. This is just really a, a quick overview. I've been getting a lot of questions of late in terms of how does one transfer um, asset to pancake swap so they can be able to trade essentially on the Binance Smart Chain. Why? Because obviously we're now starting to see a huge uh, reduction in transaction costs compare, com in comparison to Uniswap. We're seeing a huge amount of projects being built on this stack. And essentially this seems to be the new trend that we're moving into. So what I wanted to do is really enable people to understand how it works how you can be able to practically start moving assets over from Uniswap, for example, if you have ETH, um, and then how you can start taking advantage of the opportunities that we are currently seeing on essentially the Binance Smart Chain. So let's get straight to it. It's only a quick one. This is going to take you through. I would definitely recommend you to read more material. There is a link that I'm going to add in, this, in the description that will give you a breakdown of how you can do it from a theoretical aspect. I just wanted to show you the practical side, which is extremely important. So two things. Um, first and foremost, for anything that you want to trade, first and foremost, you would need a gas, right? And the gas on the Binance Smart Chain is BNB. That is essentially Binance's token. So you obviously need that first. If you don't have that, what you would need to do is essentially open a an account with Binance Exchange. It's a centralized exchange. They've been around quite early for the last few years now, doing extremely well, but they're centralized, yes. So what you would essentially need to do is to sign up and then basically fund your account. I will add a link in the description. This is basically a link that you can be able to use. And then essentially, you can then start opening the account. You can fund the account with a credit card, debit card, you can transfer from a bank, um, and then you can start from there. Once you basically logged into that, you then need to convert, if you've moved from fiat to, let's say to Bitcoin or to ETH, you need to convert that into BNB, as you see here, convert it into BNB. And then what you need to do is then essentially withdraw that um, out of the exchange, and then you need to transfer that into your Binance Smart Chain. So. What you also need to have, you need to have um, MetaMask. I would definitely recommend you have MetaMask. So you need to transfer this BNB into um, a smart chain. So basically with MetaMask. What you also number two need to do, you need to essentially create um, and add an extension. So using custom um, RPC basically as extension for MetaMask that you can be able to use. So hopefully if I can be able to show it to you so you understand what I mean here, uh, if I can. Yeah, so basically what you have here, you should be able to see a list. You have a list of networks. And when it comes down here, there's Binance Smart Chain. So essentially what you need to do is if you just click on Custom RPC, Custom RPC comes up, then there's a network name, um, Binance, then you have the uh, the new URL, you'll click in this details or whatever the URL I'm gonna basically provide to you in the description. There's a chain ID, I think it's 56. Then there's a currency, BNB. And then the block explorer is uh, BS, bscscan.com. Then you press save. I've already uploaded it, so I don't need to save that again. Once you've done that, it means you've, you've connected and essentially with your metamask wallet whichever address you have you can be able to set up uh, a network for that specific address if that makes sense and then what you'll do essentially is utilize that specific address that wallet address of that new network that you've created and then you would basically send bnb uh, to that specific address okay so then you have gas number two what probably would happen you obviously may even have ETH currently on your Uniswap. If you need to convert that, then there is within, again, I'm going to send you a link within the uh, within the Pancake Exchange. If you click on Bridge, it will take you to Binance.org Bridge section. And then what you basically need to do is when you're on the Bridge section, you will then need to identify the asset first and foremost. So if it's Ethereum network, 
you need to look at converting what you currently have in ETH over to the Binance Smart Chain. So this is BEP, BIP or BEP20, convert that over and then you'll basically select the amount that you want to convert and then you connect your wallet, okay? So you convert it over and then you connect where you want to send it to whichever wallet and that wallet would be the wallet of where your new network is of that address, if that makes sense. Once you've done that, and then when you go back to Pancake Swap, um, what you'll then have, if you click on BNB, for example, you'll then have the specific um, amount that will show up under BNB. The amazing thing about these transactions, so normally transactions um, on a buy and sell is a maximum of about 70 cents right now, 60 cents. Most of it's like 10 cents, 20 cents. Compared to Uniswap, that's $150 at its peak. It's just insane. So you don't really need to have that much in BNB in order to start trading unless um, you want to be able to essentially transact with BNB. Um, but if you want to essentially convert the ETH, which you've done via the bridge, you can then go to, to ETH and then click on ETH and then it'll basically show what you have. And then you'll then go and select the specific um, project or token. If the token is not listed here, what you then need to do is pop along to the contract address. So let's say Walt Finance, for example. You then go to contact to contract address. You copy and paste the specific contract address, and then you'll go back to Pancake Swap. You'll select the token. You'll copy and paste the address, and then it will show up. And then all you're essentially doing a similar look, similar feel to what you've seen in Uniswap. And then you're basically just converting it over. On some projects, dependent on what the structure is in terms of slippage, um, like on Walt, for example, there's a transaction tax of 3%. So you need to make sure that the slippage here is a minimum of 3%. Um, and then also you have um, the amount of gas and stuff like that that you need to look at. Again, I'm going to add the details in the description. This will change and vary dependent on the, the project, the asset that you're looking to invest in, essentially. So that's that. Um, there's a function also for liquidity. So if you're interested in adding liquidity to a specific project, you can be able to add liquidity here. You can be able to remove liquidity here. So that's a, another conversation we have. Uh, and then if you want to convert... Uh, and then move, let's say if you have BNB and you then want to then move that out of um, or, or convert it into ETH, for example, then what you need to do is go again to the bridge. Then once this loads, you look at what you have. So let's say you have, it's currently in a, uh, the Binance Smart Chain with the BIP20. You want to convert that back into ETH um, and then you can be able to then literally transfer it to exchange or what then do is might be even easier because of the cost. Um, whatever you have in BNB, you'll then send that literally back to Binance Exchange and then you can then withdraw that to fiat or whatever you want to do. So there's so many different areas. Um, this is essentially for Binance Smart Chain. We will be talking about other exchanges that I'm really looking at and really interested in over the last few days. But I just wanted to give you a heads up and I'll provide you with some more documentation. I hope that's clear. Um, and happy trading and we'll be providing some more details very soon. God bless and I'll speak to you soon.